Hi everyone, welcome back to The Pottering Penman. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Pilot Custom Heritage 92. So this pen came in this box. It's a silver cardboard box inside. There is a plastic box. You know, nothing too fancy about it. And the pen came in this sleeve. Um, and there's nothing else with the pen because it is a piston filling pen, so there's no cartridge, no converter, no bottle of ink included. Of course, the pen came inside, um, but I took the pen out already because I've inked it, used it, so I can give you guys a proper review. Here is the pen. You can see it's got flat end caps, both on the top and the bottom. This is a clear demonstrator version. The clip is nice. It's got some spring to it, but it'll definitely hold. The pen, as I said before, is a piston filler, so you can see the ink. You can see the piston mechanism. The piston end cap along with the top is sort of a translucent black, kind of a smoke color. Um, the cap of the pen says Custom Heritage 92, Pilot Japan on it. Uh, a lot of the other custom series pens have a star sort of on each side of the cap band. This one does not. Cap unscrews with one and a half turns, uh, which is common of Pilot twist cap pens. I believe they all come off with one and a half turns. This is the Pilot number no. 5 nib. It is 14 karat gold. Um, it's of a silver color, so it's coated in rhodium. Number five pen, this is the medium fine, or the fine medium. Um, you know, the number five nib size is the same one you get on the Pilot Custom 74. Very nice pen. You can see the section of the pen, the grip, is also see-through, so you can see ink collecting. Um, if you're the type of person where that would bother you, this might not be a great pen. Uh, it does come in other colors, which I think has this a little bit more opaque, so you might not be able to see the ink, but this clear color, you can definitely see it. Uh, one thing I want to note while we're talking about the design of the pen is that the piston on this pen is excellent. So, um, you know, it's very smooth. It draws ink in pretty quickly, so you don't need to, you know, screw and unscrew the piston many times. It's pretty much just one if you really want to get it really full, two is, um, you know, moving the piston back twice is, will be fine to get a lot of ink out of it. Uh, also, that makes cleaning the pen very easy because water will come in and out of the pen pretty nicely. And it's still not as easy to clean as a cartridge converter pen, of course, but, um, you know, as far as piston filling pens go, this is uh, a, a good piston filler. Let me, uh, so, give you a couple measurements. The size of the pen capped is 136 millimeters. The grip diameter is 10.6 uh, millimeters. The weight is 20 grams. And the ink capacity is about 1.1 milliliters. I'll give you a couple size comparisons. Here it is compared to a Lamy Safari. They're actually basically about the same size. Here it is compared to a Pilot Metropolitan. Also not too different. And then just to compare it to some other pens compared to a Pilot Vanishing Point. Pilot Vanishing Point's definitely longer compared to a Pilot Prera, which is a similar looking pen but smaller and a cartridge converter and also a snap cap. Um, that's compared to the Pilot Prera. And then here's a Pelican M800 and a Pilot Custom 823. Both are larger than the Custom Heritage 92. I will do a quick writing sample for you. I do have a tripod between me and the paper, so my handwriting's not going to look great, but 
just to give you a sample of how it writes. The ink is Karen Dosh Divine Pink. And the paper is a Rhodia uh, A5 sheet of paper. Okay, so this nib is not my favorite. I, I usually really like Pilot Pens. Something about this fine medium nib requires more pressure than usual fountain pens. So one of the reasons I like fountain pens is because you don't need any pressure to write. If the nib is touching the paper, the ink will just flow on its own. This pen's a little bit different. Um, the ink definitely flows better than a ballpoint pen but it does require a little bit of pressure. And I bought this pen from Jet Pens, and on their website for the medium fine nibs, they say this nib requires a, a moderate amount of writing pressure. So, you know, it's, I don't know if it's by design, but the fine medium nib definitely requires some pressure. If you're a person who likes that, that'll be fine. Um, my wife actually uses this pen the most, and she doesn't mind, she, she kind of likes that. Um, I don't, though, so this is not my favorite fountain pen in my collection. It's not uh, my favorite pilot nib. Um, so that's something to be aware of. We bought this pen for about uh, $140 on Jet Pens. It's like on sale. Um, usually these Pilot Custom Heritage 92 pens go for $156. Um, something about the clear model right now seems like they're going for $220 right now. So, in general, you're uh, going to pay somewhere between 150 and 220 depending on um, what you're looking at. Overall, this is a nice pen. Um, not my favorite in my collection, but if you're looking for it, you, you might enjoy this pen, and, and it might be worth giving it a try. So, I have a, a lot of other pen videos coming up, a lot of other pen reviews, so if you're interested in that, please subscribe to this channel. Feel free to leave questions in the comments. If I didn't answer something, I can look it up and get back to you. Uh, and that's all for today. Bye.